deploying the next generation firewall in tap mode is the easiest way to establish full network visibility while not taking any operational risks. In a moment, I will explain you the concept and some use cases. If this is your first time here, I'm Lars von Consigas. We call ourselves the Palo Alto Networks Experts because the next generation firewall is our passion. It's what we do all day every day, migrating firewalls, providing managed services and most important, implementing security best practices. When I started to work with this box in 2010, barely anyone knew about Palo Alto Networks. But as an engineer, I felt that this solution will change the world of cybersecurity. And yes, today we know it did big time, because it's one of the few security solutions that can truly secure your network. However, there's a caveat. You need to set it up in the right way in order to be effective. Because while it's awesome, it's not a magic box. So over the years, we became a professional service partner for Palo Alto Networks, as well as one of a few elite authorized training centers. And with working in the field for so many years and being a trainer, I would like to share my experience with you. So over the next couple of weeks and months, we release new videos and core concepts explaining the fundamental workings of the next generation firewall, starting with the trend landscape, then deployment methods, NAT, FID, SSL decryption, VPNs, and many more. So follow us on LinkedIn, YouTube or Twitter to stay up to date. But now let's get started with tab interfaces. The principal idea behind the tab interface is to passively monitor the traffic with the next generation firewall. So let's say we have the following use case. We have an internal network connected to a switch, then connects out to the internet over an existing firewall. And let's say you would like to monitor this traffic now, which traverses here going out to the internet. So the way how we can do this is that um, we first of all connect the firewall to the switch, right? And then on the switch, we configure a port mirror. And this port mirror, what it will do is will basically, you know, send a copy and only a copy of all of the traffic coming in and going out to this interface to the firewall. Okay, so this traffic now arrives on the firewall. And here, like usual, we have to define an interface type. So we define it as an interface type tap. And as usual, also here, we have to allocate a zone. Let's call this now, for instance, the uh, Internet tab zone. So the interesting thing now from a processing point of view of these traffic is that, you know, the packet arrives here and the firewall can now fully analyze the traffic. It means it identifies the application, it can identify threats, right? So it can kind of fully analyze uh, the traffic. And really, if you look at from a processing point of view, this packet will also go through the normal processing path like any other packet which arrives, let's say, in a layer 3 of virtual wire deployment. The only big difference is that... Um, for the tap mode, the source and destination zone will always be assumed the, the same, right? So if you look at the tra traffic logs, you will see that the source and destination zone will always be internet tap in this case, right? Um, but beside this, you know, the traffic process is the same. And obviously, right, before the traffic, instead of sending the traffic back out to the firewall, the, the packet is obviously dropped, right? But beside this, the full processing um, takes place. Obviously, we still have some limitations here. So, for instance, um, SSL decryption, we cannot do, right? Um, you know, and that's the important thing. Um, we cannot interfere with the traffic at all. And that's the full purpose, really, behind the tap mode, right? So, comparing this with the virtual wire. Virtual wire, we're handling traffic at layer 2, so we're also transparent, right? But the traffic is traversing the firewall, means, you know, the firewall can block traffic. So, it can block, you know, bad application. It can block uh, malware, right? While in tap mode, is completely passive. It only receives a, pa a kind of a copy of the traffic. With this, there's no way that it can interfere with the traffic. So you could use cases would be like, say, what if you do a proof of concepts or in critical environments, just want to let's say there um, analyze some 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 traffic without any risk to to the traffic and to the infrastructure itself. If you then want to kind of add another interface um, to this, so for instance, if you want to monitor traffic from here, the proxy as well, then we have two ways. Either we, you know, define another port mirror to send it to another tab interface, so we can have multiple interfaces here as well, or very simple, you can just uh, add this to 
the uh, existing port mirror, meaning on a port mirror you can have multiple source interfaces where you basically say, you know, all the traffic from this interface and from this interface, just, you know, send it out of this interface and then it would reach the firewall here as well. And by the way, if you're interested in security best practices for Palo Alto Networks, then check out the blog on our webpage. Here in the best practice section, you can download this worksheet with over 120 best practices for the next generation firewall. And very soon, we will also launch a security best practice training with a lot of videos explaining all of these security best practices in detail. So if you're interested, then sign up to our mailing list and we will let you know as soon as this free training is available.